this is Quaker from Next Gen Windows, and this is Windows 8.1 Update 1, which in this video I'll just refer to as Windows 8.1.1. Uh, you can see here, uh, you can't really tell anything different from Windows 8.1 standard to Update 1, but you will notice one thing if you glance at my start uh, my taskbar. Uh, you will notice Tweetro Plus here, which is a Metro style app, is now on the taskbar. And you will also notice that the store is also on the taskbar. Now, uh, I tried clicking on them, and what they do is not what the rumors uh, said they would do. Now, what they do is they allow you to, so basically, if I, let me close out of the store real quick. So, I close out of the store, you can see the store is still snapped to my taskbar. I right click it, then you can unpin it from the taskbar like every other program that you were able to do. However, if I am to click on the store, it'll bring it up in the full style as usual. You notice this black bar up here. Uh, that black bar only appears if you're using a mouse, and obviously at first launch. I'll do another video uh, doing a comparison between how it works on like a Surface, which is like a, which is a tablet, uh, versus just a mouse, a standard mouse and keyboard setup, which is my computer, which has no touchscreen. Now, one one really, I understand Microsoft is trying to um, is trying to appeal to people who are using a desktop and mouse. But one thing that will still confuse them and has always confused them to this day is the fact that they are hidden icons that you cannot see until you like you play around with the screen. So, for instance, if I drag up uh, to the top of the screen, then you see this uh, this bar right here where you can minimize or hit exit. If I drag to the bottom. Oh look, a new thing happens. You get your taskbar at the bottom of every app if you just curiously go to the very bottom of it. Now the right clicks for every app still work, uh, how they function. But one thing that I'll get to is that if you notice when I right clicked or you swipe down from this application, uh, you get this uh, you know metro style menu layout. However, if I go back to the start menu, or the start screen, I keep calling it start menu. If I get back to the start screen and I right click, now you notice that I have this desktop-esque, uh, you know, way of selecting different uh, options. Before it was just this bar at the bottom that would pop up when I right-click or swipe up. Uh, swiping up will still activate that bar, but because I only have a mouse and keyboard, it only allows me to do this right-click here. I haven't figured out how to exactly use the, uh, you know, switch to having the regular layout how I'm used to, but. For those new people, I guess that will be uh, something that is helpful for them. So, for instance, if they want to name a group, they can just right-click anywhere, in any blank space, right-click it. You can name your group, whatever, and then click away and you're back. Um, if you want to right-click Metro Radio, you can choose all these options from it. All these options would usually be at the bottom, that you know that colorful bar that's part of your theme. But uh, if you're using a mouse and keyboard on this update, you'll get it into this desktop-esque uh, old-style old Windows Classic bar. Uh, menus so that's that's something that personally I don't feel like it's useful but for people who aren't used to you know people who aren't me where they're like technology fanatics um, that could, I find that that could be very you know helpful for people so they're not searching around for where are the extra, extra options I've seen various videos on that that you know regular parents can't find the the settings and stuff like that on here or how to turn off the computer and segueing into turning off the computer uh, you'll notice right here next to my name, you'll notice a power button and a search option. Now, um, yes, on the start menu, you were able to just search just by typing, and yeah, you still can. But now, for people who are brand new at using Windows 8, uh, Microsoft has added in this update these two buttons here, the search button and the, the power button, power options, rather. When you click power options, you get these three options, sleep, shut down, and restart. Now when you click the search, you just bring up the search and you can continue typing. Or you can just type like normal, just like that. Uh, everything works just like how it should be. So this just these additions are, you know, something that I like. Uh, just the right clicking and having this. I wish that uh, if I was to update to it, uh, you know, if I was to update to it, it would just keep how my layout was and it wouldn't change it. Uh, but new computers maybe that don't have a touch screen, maybe it would do this by default. That's what I hope they would do. Uh, that way, people who you know upgrade, they don't change things on them that they've already used to. And that's kind of what the issue was with Windows 8 was Microsoft changed things that people were used to. So that this might actually get on people's nerves. 
um, when this comes out, people who are, were originally frustrated with the layout and got used to it, and then they'll be frustrated again because they don't like how these menus look. They want them at the bottom like the usual. So that's one thing. Another thing you can do. Now another thing that you can do is also, if you notice here that I noticed um, when I click Tweetro and it goes to full screen, there's no option that I can actually like, you know, put it into my desktop, have it like a windowed mode. I don't see that option. I just finished installing this, so, and just let me just let you guys know that this is, I don't know whether this is RTM or this is a preview build of it. Uh, it was leaked, so I tried it out and I'm making a video for you guys to show you guys how it functions. Uh, how you can expect it to function. Obviously, there will be, there probably will be some changes uh, later on. But the update is supposed to come out on Patch Tuesday on April. I think it's April eighth. I'll get, I'll verify whether it's April eighth or so. But I think it's April eighth. So you can look forward to that on your Windows update to get this official, uh, to get the official Windows eight point one point one as I'm calling it, not update one or spring update like they're calling it. Uh, just call it Windows 8.1.1 since it makes perfect sense and I don't know why the naming scheme is anything different but it's it looks really nice you know the layout the way they you know add a little options for people who are used to mouse and keyboard it's nice for people who are getting you know who are new to this it's good for them how they added that for people who are upgrading again uh, just from how they're, they're used to having the bar at the bottom here that now when you go to the bottom you know this comes up this taskbar comes up uh, they won't like that very much. They wish they probably wish how you go back to the other format. And when I make a video on the Surface, I'll show you guys how you go back to the other format uh, as I get used to this uh, as I use it day by day. But aside from that, that's pretty much it. Uh, let's do a quick rundown on what the features were on Windows 8.1.1 or Spring Update or Update One. I don't know. Just the main features are. Uh, when you can now have, you can now snap your Metro style uh, apps to your taskbar in your start in your desktop. Uh, you can't run them in the desktop like a window, similar to how say this game Smite would be. You can't run it like this. It goes to full screen like this, and you can hit exit out of them and minimize out of them. However, when you hit exit, it doesn't necessarily mean it's gone from your t from your task manager. When you still go to your task manager. Uh, you can still see calendar, Tweetro, and store still there. Clearly, Tweetro is open, but store, I exited out of it, but it's still there. So you have to manually end task to completely you know, basically make it disappear. Uh, and then also, they added these little fu extra functions on the start screen if you're using a mouse and keyboard like I am with no touch screen. If you are using a touch screen, you'll still get the little, you know, the regular menu, how things are, how things were at the bottom. But if you aren't, it'll default to this, which I don't really like. I'll figure out a way to switch it back and tell you guys in a later video. But aside from that, that's been it. Windows 8.1.1 or Windows 8.1 Spring Update. Or you can call it Windows 8.1.1 or I don't know anymore. But aside from that, that's been Quaker for Next Gen Windows. This has been Windows 8.1 Update 1. A quick first look on it. I'll do a better first look, or I'll do a better look on it uh, later on when I do it on the surface. See you guys later. Peace.